To view your last campaign report from the dashboard, just go ahead and click View Report. Otherwise, go to Campaigns, find the email you want to view, and then just click View Report. And here is the report. Of course, this is just a demo of an email. This is not a real email that went out. So 25 people received this email, 44% opened it. That's 11 people. You can click this button and then you will see who opened it and who clicked a link in the email. Then we have the unsubscribe, the spam complaints, the hard bounces, soft bounces, the top email clients. In this case, it was only Gmail and the reading environment. It's only webmail in this case. Here are the top links. This is the link activity. You see the unique clicks and total clicks. So sometimes a person will click more than once. That's why we might see more clicks than actual subscribers. And then we only used one group, which is called All Mine, because all these subscribers were me. <laughs> so all my emails. Now, if you have the Shopify integration activated, you'll see this e-commerce, and you'll see the orders, the total revenue, the conversion, and the order list. But of course, this campaign doesn't have any, any purchases. And then we have the survey report. And you will only see this if you actually have a survey in your newsletter. And here is the report. I only had two questions in my survey. How would you rate our new product line? Six votes said they loved it. Two votes uh, they they almost loved it. <laughs> I mean, that's there were five options to choose from. So this was the fourth and this was the fifth, the smiley face. And then one person was not really sure. And then to see who actually voted, you can see six votes here. If you click this, it will go to those people, two votes here and one vote here. And then you can just see the average. So most people were happy. The average response of nine votes. And same here. What do you think about changing the color of the product line to blue? Six people voted yes, and two people voted no. Then, of course, you can also export this to CSV or a CSV file that is specially prepared for Excel. Then you can view the email. And if you're on a premium plan, you have this click map. This basically shows the percentage of where people were clicking. We only had a couple of links here. We only had one link to the survey here. So most people were clicking around here. If you have more links, links around the email, you'll see the clicks, the percentage all over your email, depending on how many links you have. And of course, if you want to turn off the click map, just turn it off and you can see a full view of your whole email over here. Of course, the preview is here. You can just copy the URL, save it as a PDF if you want. And if you want to download as HTML, we'll just copy the URL and then save as HTML in your browser. The activity of the subscribers is here. So this is just me, the opens, the clicks, and the link activities. But before we see that, you also have this action tab. You can also export to file or copy these people to another group. You can show all of them, the ones who opened, the people who clicked, the unopened, the people who didn't open any emails, and you have a, a couple of other options over here. Of course, you can toggle, you can search for, for, for a specific subscriber, and you can look through all the pages here. Then in the activity tab, we also have link activity. And instead of the subscribers, it shows the links in the newsletter. And again, how many unique clicks, the total clicks, and you have the action for exporting to file or exporting the file to Excel. Okay, let's go back to open by location. And here you'll see the location of the subscribers. Now, all of the subscribers were from the United States in my case, but normally if you have the premium plan and go to open by locations, you'll see your, all the subscribers from the different countries they subscribed from. One more thing, if you go to campaigns, there is a drop down by view report. You can download your report or print your report. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.